Ephesus, we already received the plate. And Jesus stands out very clearly what his mission was all about. It was always about the cross and nothing else. But he also goes on to spell out to his disciples, the cross is not the end of the road, because the Son of Man will be raised from the dead on the third day. And then this is the invitation that he gives, first of all, to these immediate disciples of his. If you really want to be my disciples, first of all, deny yourself, secondly, take up your cross, and thirdly, then come follow me. The cross is not an option, my dear brothers and sisters. It's a necessary part of Christianity and our lives and as disciples of the Lord. In John chapter 6, when Jesus begins his discourse on the Eucharist, we read the gospel how so many of his so-called disciples began to leave him one by one because they were not able to digest what he was inviting them to. And he goes on to ask these twelve, Do you also want to leave me? Feel free to do so. And he leaves this choice and time after each one of us and your brothers and sisters. He doesn't force us into being his disciples and followers. But if we have made the choice to be his disciples, then we have to be genuine and faithful followers of the Lord. And how do we gauge or evaluate for ourselves how genuine is our calling in discipleship? Today's gospel, a simple line, deny yourself, take up your cross, and then follow the Lord. God bless and do have a Jesus-filled day.